High Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see, will your person be coming back? So will they reach out? Will they contact you? Will you hear from them again? If so, when and what is it that they have to say? This is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and let's begin the reading. You've got an interesting combination of cards. The Ace of Pentacles, you've come up as the Ace of Pentacles. And this tells me that you're either the one who's going to reach out and communicate to this person first. But I see them responding. Or otherwise, it's them reaching out and communicating with you. However, something about the cards and the energies tells me that maybe the reason why things um, you guys have sort of broke off things in the first place or you guys sort of went separate ways is because the lack of commitment here or the lack of effort on the part on their part the ten of wands tells me that maybe things were a little bit one-sided maybe you felt as though you were always the one that was doing all the work initiating all the communication making all the plans just really carrying the weight and the burden of this connection and you just felt like you were the one that was always invested and you felt because of the lack of efforts, you had to overcommit and over apply yourself. And you did, you've overextended yourself in the process to sort of compensate for or overcompensate for the lack of efforts. And even though a part of you wanted to believe that they're as equally invested as you are, I feel like that was only, I guess that was only a lie you were telling yourself. So something about them communicating and reaching out to you, but I feel like you only really want this if they're going to show you that they're committed, if they're going to show you that they're willing to work on themselves and they're willing to stick around and they're willing to, you know, try and try and work on themselves for the sake of this connection and try and work on the connection. Just try and make an effort, I guess. Try and, you know, make an effort or at least reciprocate because I feel like you only really want this if... You don't want this inconsistency. You don't want someone who's going to come in and out of your life. You don't want someone who's manipulative in any way, shape or form or someone who takes advantage of you. You don't want someone who just, you know, is going to waltz back into your life and pretend like nothing's happened and pretend like it's all good again when it's not. So I feel like you're only really taking them back. Even though they reach out and communicate with you, you're only really going to take them back if they make some form of commitment. And it, like a commitment doesn't have to necessarily be like, you know, a marriage or engagement or even like them telling you that they want a relationship or they're okay with putting a title to it. I feel like you just want something on their part, something to show you that they're in it, that they're going to commit to this, to the idea of the both of you, to the idea of this connection working. And that's why I feel like it's, you're wanting, I feel like you're wanting something solid. You're wanting something stable. You're wanting something concrete and you're not taking anything less good on you. You're not going to settle for mediocre. And if they're coming with mediocre, I feel like you're going to wave them off. You've got such an alchemy here with temperance and the magician. I mean, this is there's such an alchemy to both of these cards. So I do feel like you have a very special connection with this person. And I feel like they feel it and you feel it too. And I feel like the both of you have really, you know, you're the alchemists here. And you've really manifested each other. And it, to me, it feels like maybe you're trying to manifest them back into your life. But as I've said, you don't want the old them. I feel like you want the new and improved version of them. You want them to prove themselves. You want them to fight for you. You don't want this to be one-sided. You want them to reciprocate and match and parallel your efforts here. 
you know that this connection holds potential. It's too bad that they don't see it the way they, they you do. It just ta it's taken them a little bit longer, I feel. But I do feel like temperance here is telling you to be patient here. So be patient because even be patient with the whole reaching out. If you're the one that wants to go ahead and reach out and communicate with this person, don't be in such a rush. Maybe just give it a few days. If you're still feeling this type of way, all right, communicate. But don't put so much pressure on yourself and don't put so much pressure on this person as well. It just feels like, you know, you guys, for order in order for this to work, you guys need to both be in flow with each other and just sort of in rhythm with each other. And right now you're kind of out of sync with one another. But I do see this person coming back into your life, whether it's you reaching out and them responding or whether it's them you know, coming back into your life here. This is someone who may be, like with the Six of Cups, this is like a past energy, I feel, for some of you. Maybe this is someone whom you've you've been on and off with, or this is someone whom you have you were romantically involved with this person um, some time ago, and then some time has passed and you guys decided to reconnect. Because I feel like you guys have had history together. If that's not what I'm getting, then maybe you guys have uh, been romantically involved here in a previous lifetime, in a past life connection. Because it feels like there is this soul connection, but it feel, it also feels like your person here is... Maybe they're a bit scared, they're a bit afraid of what they're feeling here. Maybe these emotions are foreign to them, or maybe they're just not ready for all the things that you're ready for. I'm also getting a bit of a childlike predisposition to this person. You know how I said someone, like, they're not ready for what you're ready for? I feel like maybe you've had a lot more emotional experiences or you've had a lot more um, experiences, you know, in terms of dating and relationships and, you know, meeting and forming new connections, whereas they feel like they're a little bit less experienced. Maybe they haven't had as much experience dating or they haven't really had like a serious long-term relationship. And this is where I feel like you guys really differ. And I also feel like maybe they are a little bit emotional, uh, em emotionally immature, a little bit juvenile, a little bit infantile here. Maybe they still have a lot of growth to do, a lot of which I do feel like will happen in this connection if you guys do decide to stay on. But yeah, I do feel like you guys do share a very beautiful connection and I do see them coming home back to you. Because you guys are going back to what you once create, uh, what what you once created, or what you once had. So, if things are a little bit uncomfortable right now, a little bit edgy, I feel like there will be so much more happier, healthier times ahead for you, especially with the sun's energy. And this is the six of cups tells us that you're going back to something. So you're going back to them. They're coming back home to you, or you guys are going back to, you know, that stage in your relationship where you were doing well before all of this happened, right? So. You guys are manifesting um, a lot more healthier and happier times ahead. I can see that this person has brought you a lot of joy. In fact, you both have brought each other a lot of joy and happiness. But it's important that they contribute to the relationship as much as you've been contributing. Okay, It needs to be leveled. It needs to be balanced rather than someone just doing all the work here. Alright guys, and these are your messages. So thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.